Today's video was sponsored by Keeps. Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. We have a lot going on today. The first thing I need to do is get on the tractor. I don't need to get on the tractor. What am I talking about here? I lost my train of thought. That's a shocker, isn't it? The first thing I need to do is go check on the chickens because they moved into their new chicken house this morning. I think they're doing okay in there. Then I need to come out here and work in the garden for about an hour. And then we're gonna do some sawmill maintenance and get on the mill and saw up some walnut. You guys hang in there. We have a lot going on. Hopefully I can keep everything in order. All right, friends, we're inside the old kiln. Sorry about the echo, this building's pretty airtight. And this is the new chicken house. I've got the roost right here behind us, got two of those. Got a table right there to collect the droppings on. And we just moved them out here this morning, so I think they're doing okay. We've got shavings on the floor. I still gotta build the chicken run right beside of the building so they can go outside and do their thing. But right now, they're still too little to go outside. They're about four to five weeks old, we think. We think, we've got 12 chickens total. They're scared to death of me for some reason. I'm not gonna eat you guys, don't worry about it. I just want your eggs. I had a few people in the last video asking about goats to clear up that fence line down here below the hill. And I'm still gonna do that. I just gotta get on the ball and put some fencing up to keep the coyotes out. But we're gonna do that sometime this summer. I'm up here at the garden. It's looking pretty good this year. It's just pretty dry. It's not rained here in about two weeks. So I gotta water it every night. I think I'm gonna put you guys in the drone and fly you overhead. I'm gonna work in this garden for about two hours checking for weeds. We'll see you guys back here in just a minute. All right, friends, it's a hot day in Tennessee. And on the sawmill today, we got something I've not done in a long time on this channel. For the longest time, this was my bread and butter right here. Crotch walnut. I used to do videos like this once or twice a week and you guys loved it. And I've got away from that just a little bit, mainly because the price for walnut logs has went through the roof in this country in the past year or two. And I can't really afford them pretty much anymore. I get a few of them, but most of the time, guys, you know, it's hard to buy them. Because my market around here for walnut for the finished slabs isn't that great compared to bigger cities with bigger populations. Therefore, those higher law prices, I can't pay them and make any money. I can buy them and show them on video via YouTube, but YouTube doesn't pay that much anymore either, guys. So, sometimes you just uh, have to back up and pun on stuff. And that's why I've not seen a lot of walnut crotches on this channel in the past year or so. But that changes today. Today we have a nice one and I actually picked up three or four the other day off of a tree service guide. They're down in the log yard. We'll be sawing those up here sometime this month or maybe the first of May. I don't know. I got a lot going on this month. I'm pretty busy. But this is black walnut. I think, I think it's 10 feet long. Let's check it real fast guys. Be patient with me there. It is nine and a half. Nine and a half on the length. Measuring tape is hung up just a little. Right here is the most important part of this log, friends. Right here we have the crotch. If you're new to this channel, that's where the highly figured wood is always hiding. That's what people love to see, and it looks really good as tabletops, as bar stools, as bar stools. Let's make some bar stools out of this. That makes a lot of sense. Bar stools. I meant to say bar tops. 
My goodness, I'll tell you what. I don't know where my mind's at sometimes here, guys. I'll tell you what, bar stools. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so on the crotch right here, we're looking at 24 inches on the width. Down here on the other side, don't go anywhere. Let me check this other side down here. We're looking at 18 inches. So not really a large log, but since it has this crotch right here, it makes it pretty, pretty uh, valuable, I guess you would say, because of this feature. We saw on this at nine quarter on the thickness. If you're new to this channel, that means two and a quarter inches on the thickness. Down on the sawmill head, we're running the Silver Tip Turbo 7. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia. If you want those blades, guys, give him a call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. So let's do some slabs here, friends, and open this one up and see what we get and hopefully throw some water on it. Not done this in a long time. You guys might be surprised. I think this is going to be a good one. If it's not, I'm going to edit that part out. Should be okay. I had to shut down for just a minute and do another adjustment on the sawmill. You saw that rattling right there. It's not rattling now because I tightened that up, but that right there is the lower pad on the high performance blade guides. Now on these big diesel engine sawmills, friends, there's a lot of vibration going on and sometimes things work loose. And those blade guides right there, they will get loose on you like that sometimes. Based on what we saw after that first cut when we took the bark off, I got a pretty good feeling about this. Looks pretty good, it's nice and solid. Not too bad. I bet we're gonna have some decent crotch figure on the underside of this first slab right here. Should look pretty good. All right, friends, I wanna thank Keats for sponsoring today's video and making this all possible. Without them, this video wouldn't be happening today, guys. So I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video. And I wanna tell you guys a little bit about them if you're not familiar with this company. So Keeps is an online subscription service that helps men keep their hair. And judging by what I'm seeing in the camera right now, it looks like I could use it myself. With doctor recommended hair loss treatments, they offer clinically proven treatments to combat the symptoms of hair loss. Treatments are delivered straight to your door. They're affordable and typically half the cost of pharmacy prices. With Keeps, you also get 24 seven expert support. Keeps treatment plans come with a year of unlimited doctor messaging. And with Keeps, they offer clinically proven research back treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth. With Keeps, you get everything your hair needs delivered straight to your door. You also get refill reminders so you never run low on your products so your hair always has what it needs. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash out of the woods or click the link in the video description. All right, guys, a real big thank you to Keeps for making this video possible today and sponsoring it. We really appreciate it, guys. I think I'm gonna go down to the house and grab some dinner. I'm not sure what we're having tonight. Then I'll come right back up here and we'll finish up this log. You guys hang in there, I'll be right back.
guys, this is how it goes sometimes when you get a tree that's been dead standing. Full of ants right here on the top. I always keep a spray bottle up here of some ant killer. This stuff actually will kill just about anything. Because you never know when you're going to run into something like this. If you don't kill them right away, they'll infest your whole building. That's happened to me several times. So I'm going to saturate this wood here with this poison. It's not going to hurt the timber at all. When you kill and dry this and it air dries and all that good stuff, this stuff will be long gone. But you got to do this, guys. I tell you what, you got to take care of this problem or else you'll have a mess on your hands. Man, there's a lot of them in there. Part of it. you. 